So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Sweet Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, this video is about the scoring of the Anthony Joshua, Joshua Parker fight last night. And a lot of people are not really happy with the scoring. Like, I can understand why. Because I thought the scores were a little bit wide. But I still scored Anthony Joshua that fight 116-112. I understand the 119-109 card and the 118-110. Yeah, they are a little bit wide. Because I don't know how one judge could score Joshua Parker one round in the whole fight. Like, I gave Joshua Parker four rounds in the fight. But I just didn't see him doing enough to win the fight. Like, Anthony Joshua um, was using his reach to not allow Joshua Parker to get in on the inside against him to let off his combinations like Joseph Parker couldn't really land any big power shots really in the fight he landed a few but not as many as Anthony Joshua even though Anthony Joshua didn't really land as many clean power shots as he usually does in his fights but I just felt that Anthony Joshua was the ring general in there I thought he was the aggressor and I thought he was doing the better work throughout the fight and I thought that he deserved to win the fight and there's channels out there like 7, 8 Sports TV and uh, Mr. Boxing Today. Like, Mr. Boxing Today scored the fight, a draw. You had um, 7, 8 Sports TV score it to Josie Parker. I don't know how he got that scorecard because I just don't see Josie Parker winning that fight. Like, I just didn't see it whatsoever. And you have Richard Dwyer saying the fight could have been a draw or the fight was very close. He said it was similar to the Manny Pacquiao Jeff Horn fight. Like, I don't think it was that close. Like, it just wasn't that close. I just thought that Anthony Joshua controlled the fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, Joseph Parker managed to take the right hand away of Anthony Joshua in the bout. Like, Anthony Joshua couldn't really land clean power shots with the right hand and stuff like that. But in this fight, it was a case of a good big man beating a good little man because Anthony Joshua obviously was bigger than Joseph Parker. He was stronger than Joseph Parker. He was using his strength to lean on Joseph Parker in clinches and stuff like that and Josie Parker you know what I mean he just couldn't really get enough work on Anthony Joshua last night to really make a case that the fight was really close or that um he won the fight like I don't know how people can give Josie Parker that fight last night that like, Josie Parker himself he didn't even dispute the scoring he felt that the scoring was right like he might have thought it was a bit wide but he felt that Anthony Joshua deserved to win the fight you know what I mean? And the referee and stuff like that. Like, I didn't agree what the referee was doing. Like, breaking the fighters early and stuff like that. Not allowing Josie Parker and Anthony Joshua to work on the inside. But at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua still won the fight, in my opinion. I just felt that he was the ring general and that he was the aggressor in there. So, yeah, these channels, they have their opinion. And I respect their opinion and stuff like that. Like, everyone has their own opinion on stuff and has their own take on stuff. But I just don't see how people think the fight was really close. Like, Paulie Malinagi, after 9 or 10 rounds, said the fight was close. But I felt that Anthony Joshua pulled away in the championship rounds. And that's why I gave him the fight by four rounds. So, it is what it is at the end of the day. Obviously, boxing is very subjective. And a lot of the rounds could be open to interpretation. But what I was seeing in there last night, I just felt that Anthony Joshua won the fight. And he won it by a decent margin. So it is what it is at the end of the day. Comment below in the comment section. What do you guys think? It's JM, it's Speedboxing.